I don't remember the name of that place. But, yes, you do. Bouchers. You motherfuckers used to always go there at one time. Oh, the actor friend of your yeah, family hung out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bouchards, yeah, yeah. Bouchards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bouchards. Yeah. I don't know what the more. I don't know what the <laughs> point. Of my, oh no, no. He lived in that area. Used to be really fucking bad. When, when I first moved in with Terry in 2000, that area. Yeah. That was a fucking gas station, and they would sell crack on the corners. And one night, I asked my dealer, like I had just moved in with Terry. I was there two months. I knew my way around the apartment. Now one night, I called this dude, and I go, "Dog, can I meet you?" And he goes, "Where, do you, where are you?" And I go, "I'm on Schrader. No, I'm on the other place." Where I used to live by the uh, Schrader was where by the YMCA. Yeah, by the YMCA. Yeah, and he goes, "All right, go downstairs. I'll meet you on the street." First night I ever went downstairs, he comes by on a motorcycle. I give him his money. I sit on the stairs for some reason because I don't want to go right inside like a guy bone. Mm -hmm. I would give him his cash and a D, you know, like a CD, and he would give me a DVD box with the coke in it. And then I just sit in front of my apartment building there like I fucking was a godfather. Two thirty <laughs> in the morning. And I've told him one one time when I first moved in with Terry, I'm sitting there and I hear like the screeching of tires. And all of a sudden, you know, they have speed bumps mm -hmm. in those streets because there's no lights. It's just a stop sign. Bro, this car went by me fucking doing like 90. <clears throat> and all of a sudden I saw a motorcycle shooting at him and shit on that <laughs> no. street. Selma. Yeah. Selma. If you go on Selma by the fucking uh, Wax Museum. Yeah. Okay, by the Wax Museum. If you're at the Wax Museum and the Chinese Man's Theater, back when me and Josh moved here from, from 90 fucking 7 to about 2003, if you went to Man's Chinese Theater and you walked 30 yards east yeah. and you cross the street and walk down the block, that's Selma. That's behind Hollywood High School. That's where they shot the movie Made. When him and John Favreau are walking behind there and the coach comes out and tells him he's a loser. But they shot a bunch of movies at They Hollywood shot a High. bunch of movies yeah. there. But on that corner, one night I'm coming home and I got no package. I go to El Compadre. I go to the Black Dude. I go to the Martel Cartel. Nothing from Chewy? No Chewy. No Burger King because I had a guy on Burger King on Western and the Sunset. All you had to do was go to that light <laughs> and he'd come out running shoeless <laughs> with a Coke Rock. It was the best. Anyway... I'm fucking driving back on fucking that street on Selma because there's no cops on Selma. No. So all I would have to do is I would shoot down to a uh, fountain and then stay on fountain till I got to something and then I'd shoot up and go around and I'd get right there on Selma. And there was no cops on Selma there. One, and every night I'd see three black dudes on the corner talking shit like gang members or whatever the fuck. And one night they made eye contact. I was like, okay. I made a little eye contact. They came over to the car. What up? What up with you? What are you looking for? Rock. And the guy goes, what do you got? I got a 20. He goes, I'm going to give you a rock. He gave me this rock. Nice little white fucking bowl. Like, thanks. I go, you guys are here a lot. I'll stop by. <laughs> I see you guys here. Yeah, we're solid. I'm Tyrone, whatever. All yeah. right. Fuck it. I shoot to the house. Oh my I God. chop up this thing. I snort it. And it fucking tastes horrible. It, I got beat. And I chop it again, and something's not right. It tastes like Coke. It's numb in my mouth. But it's just not working in my fucking nose, man. And I finally I just said, fuck that. I got beat. I went to bed pissed off. <laughs> but it only cost me $20. It's not like I, I bought an ounce. Did you go myself. back? No, no, I didn't even think about it until the next Did day. you? And I told Mike Kessler. Yeah. And Mike Kessler goes, what, are you retarded? That's crack. I go, fuck. He goes, you still got it? I go, yeah. That night I went home. I got a Coke can and shit. I started putting meat uh, with a pin. Yeah. And I started smoking the crack out of a Coke can. My wife would come up. What is that smell? The reefer. Go back to bed. <laughs> Wheat. Did you, did you ever do meth? Uh, Boise, Idaho, funny bone. <laughs> I did that in just one time? I that hated weekend. it. No, I did it a few times, but that Boise, Idaho, <laughs> funny bone. And I did meth on a, on a creative tour in the south, in like West Virginia. I was on a five-day uh, one-nighter. Yeah. And on the fourth night, I heard a guy sniffing in the back. I hadn't, hadn't, hadn't been doing like four fucking days. You know what I'm saying? And those days, I used to scratch heavy. <laughs> yeah. That monkey would come on out. And I would just sit in the bathroom. and make believe I was peeing like a fag in the 80s. That's yeah. how they picked you up. They would just sit in the bathroom all day, oh, and they would pee. And then when you'd walk in, they'd wash their hands, and they'd go back and pee and look at your dick. That's how it was in the old days. I, got, I, I, got, I caught a guy in San Francisco at the bathroom at the airport one time. They just hung out at the airport and would go into the bathroom, 
when he saw a hot guy and he'd go up next to him, piss, make believe he was pissed, and then he'd look at your dick. So you're saying you did that for coke? You just sat in the bathroom until you heard sniffing? I went to the bathroom until I oh. heard sniffing in West Virginia. The guy came out. I said, listen, I got like $200. I need something. <laughs> he goes, well, man, follow me. We and got, got, I got Vinnie Coppola. We drove a half hour in the dig of the woods. We went to like a trailer. This is 1998, 20 years before fucking Breaking Bad. This guy had a trailer. I gave him some 20 bucks. He came out with a rock. I taste. I go, this ain't coke. He goes, man. I forgot to tell you, it's meth. We got speed here. And I fucking did it. What are you going to do? When you're jonesing no. for something to snort. But when you think you're getting... I thought I was getting coke and I got meth. And that fucked me up. Because I did I did as much meth as I would do coke. Oh, that fucks you up. Oh, that, that fucked fuck, me well, up. Well, Yosho, I always did a line just to warm up. Just to see yeah, what Yeah, but it was. even like... The line is still a line. The no, I would meth, do a little. Oh, just a little bit. First line, unless I really knew the guy, and I just see him taking out of the kilo, and I had gone there the night before, and I knew what the stuff was. I hate. I hated meth. I fucking hated meth. No, well, you see me jumping down, up and down. Yeah, yeah it was fucking I I terrible. Never, listen, when I went to prison, there was a lot of meth. The white dudes, the bikers, and the white dudes, they all did a lot of meth. And I said it. I became friends with the head white dude. And we used to play basketball, and every Monday he'd call me to his fucking room, and we'd snort a lot of speed. That shit would keep me up till Wednesday, mm. and they'd do it's it all weekend. There, it's fucking terrible. They'd sleep one night Sunday, the night before his visitation on Monday. His chick would come in with a balloon in her mouth. They'd make out. He'd swallow it. God. Damn. Sometimes he didn't even swallow it because.